Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Art Crystal Isles. We're out here on the Pleasy. We're gonna be grabbing some of the artifacts that we need for the better boss fight. And the first one we need is kinda out here on a deep shelf. This is the artifact of the cunning. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get to it before. See, dude, there are so many eels and everything around here. Holy crap. We definitely need a whale, man. But this one sh Oh, he got us! Get out of it! Get out of it! Dude, I didn't bring a crossbow! Oh, man. Alright, we need to hurry up, get this one, and get out of here. Because it is right here. Oh, I don't have my fins! Oh, he's on us! Oh, man. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, we might be dead here. Holy crap! Do not go out in the ocean without a crossbow. And fins. I forgot my fins. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and just take him out. There you go. Run away, man. Dude! Well, that's a fantastic start to this episode. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. So there we go. Artifact of the Cunning. I'll show you the coordinates of it real quick. So looking at about 83.25. Let's go ahead and get out of this water. Alright, buddy, let's put you in the cryopod for right now. Oh, man, dude! But yeah, so anyways... <laughs> anyways, there are... What do you got in there? Oh, I think it's just meat and stuff. Yeah, we don't care about any of that. So we need six artifacts total for the beta boss. And two of them are in water. And I think one or two of them are up in the snow area, which is going to be kind of interesting because we haven't been up there at all, really, since we've been on this map. I've been wanting to explore it. We just... Dude, there's so much to do. I haven't had time. Let's go ahead and get our regular gear back on. Throw out our griffin, and we'll head to the next one. So I think the next one we're going to do is going to be the artifact of the devourer. And that one's a pretty easy one. It's just up on top of a peak. So we're going to head that way, and we'll see you back in a few. Alright, so this one's up on one of these peaks. I don't know, is this one or the other one? Might be the other one. Let's take a look at our coordinates. We're looking for... Yeah, we're not quite there. 1545 is a peak that this one will be on. I think that's going to be it right there. that it on top? No, it is not. Ah, there it is. You can see it on top there. Purplish color container. So I've got quite a few wyverns that are raised up, and I just need a couple more to get some eggs hatched, and then do some, do some leveling to get some stats up, and then we'll be ready for the boss fight. So 1545-ish is where this one is. Very nice, very nice. Next one we're going to go for is um, Artifact of the Hunter. And it's also on a peak. But this one's over in kind of like the desert area. Alright, so the, for the coordinates for the Artifact of the Hunter, you're looking for 6640, which will put us right down there on that peak there. We get a little dive bomb action going on here. A little bit more speed. And hopefully, yeah, I've seen this one at night a couple times when I was doing supply runs. I just didn't mess with it. I wanted to save it for this video. There's the coordinates for it again in case you need them. Awesome. Halfway there. So this next one's pretty close here. It's actually just right over here by some red crystals. And it's actually in a cave. You can actually get to it from, I think, this side here. Alright, so the easiest way to get to this one is look for the area with the red crystals. It's right over by the desert biome. Show you on the map where we're at. We're close to 6030 there. But the entrance is kind of hidden. This is it right here. We'll go ahead and leave the griffin out here. I'll show you the coordinates for the entrance here. So we're looking at about 5833. And that'll put you here. 
I tell you what, the sounds in here, man, are crazy. No enemies or nothing. A lot of crystal, though. And it's just a straight shot up to run and grab it. So there we go. Artifact of the Clever. Oh, we unlocked some stuff, too. Facial hair style and... Oh, uh, okay, okay. A little bit of barber stuff that we don't ever mess with. All right, next one we're going to head to is up near the Redwood Forest. It's actually in the same cave where we went to get the element ore. I did not know there was an artifact in there. So we're going to head up towards the giant bee cave, and we'll see you back in a few. All right, as long as we don't mess with the honey or the bees, we'll be fine. So we will be needing the scuba tank and a water mount for this one, too. I did bring... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's the other entrance. I did bring the berry just in case. I don't know if the plesia will fit in here. I know the berry will because that's what I use to come down and get element ore. So I think we're going to leave him here. And we'll take the berry down. And I'm kind of nervous about just leaving him sitting up here, but I think I think he'll be all right. And let's go ahead and get our scuba tank on. It's going to be way down here in the tunnel. Quite a, quite a little bit of a swim. This tunnel actually goes all the way out to the ocean. Which is kind of neat. So in case you didn't see the video, this is where you come to get element ore at. I think it's one of the locations. But that's what they look like right there. The little black rock with the purple kind of glowing in it. That right there is all you need. You can make element sheets. And man, have I gone through a lot of that stuff recently. That's why I'm wanting to get these boss battles done. It'd be a lot easier to get get element go past the oil fields that are down here very nice place to grab some oil too there's a little bit of everything down here oil there's the uh, silica pearls there's the element ore which also gives you a ton of metal but just stay to the left and it's kind of like a one way in one way out on this tunnel can't really get lost and then here we are here it is just in the middle of the tunnel here so the coordinates are roughly 32-24 once you get in the cave here. And there we go. Artifact of the Depths. So let's see, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, just one more. And the next one is actually up in the snow area. It's in another cave, so <laughs> I'm not taking any any uh armor up there that's made for cold weather so we'll see how that works out hopefully I don't freeze hopefully just snowflakes and doesn't ice cube a little loot container here might as well grab it while we're in the area ah just some glow sticks it's all right though so this is where we're heading now I've always kind of wondered what was in here turns out it's an artifact I don't know if we can fly in there but let me show you the coordinates for the entrance we're looking at 3249 Hopefully we can fly in here. If not, we'll have to swim. Oh, nice. That's not too bad then. What's the temperature in here? 41. Not bad at all. Kind of a nice secluded area. Be good for building if you do PvP. So for this one, we're going to come in and go up to the left here. I think. It's kind of on the side of a wall. Finding it's going to be the problem. Go ahead and head up high. Kind of double back there. And then it should be over this direction, I believe. Alright, so there's a little small entrance there to go through. The coordinates we're looking for is like 3355. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see. Dude, this place looks crazy, man. 
Ah, oh, there it is right there. Nice. Dude, I tell you what, this thing is... It, it's really hard to find. This almost looks like... It reminds me of Aberration. Like where the rock drakes are. But here we go. It's the last one we need. Artifact of the Strong. So that's it. We have all six. We got the Clever. The Cunning. The Depths. The Devourer. The Hunter. And then the Strong. Alright, so we made it back to base in one piece. Let's go ahead. I got some little pedestal set out again that way we can throw these out and have them on display for a short time at least gonna make this bridge or this little dock a lot brighter man it's gonna be awesome wait what Is that the same one I just put in there oh man those two look the same I got worried I was like oh man there's a glitch And then one more, and that should be it. Nice, man. Those look good. So I think there's like six more for the alpha. Dude, that's a lot of artifacts to be getting. I like it, though, man. Looks good. Looks good. Well, I hope you liked it. We'll be doing the better boss fight probably in the next one. I don't want to show you what I have going on yet. It's a surprise. But going to go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.